What the fuck is up, motherfuckers? Today I'm gonna show you four ways that I've improved my workflow in FL Studio. Number one, plugin category. So before, when I opened up this shit and I would go to insert, it would show me a motherfucking shit ton of plugins, all of the plugins that I had, and it would take me a while to find the plugin that I wanted. Same as in my effects, I would go to effects and I would have a whole fucking list. I realized that I had my go-to plugins that I would always look for, and since I would always put my mixer in different areas, it would be in different places, and it would take me a few seconds to find it, and it would piss me off. So the solution to that is very fucking easy. So if you have FL Studio 20, you want to go to Documents, Image Line, FL Studio, Presets, Plugin Database, and this is where you're going to have your Effects and Generators folder, as well as an Installed folder. The Installed folder is super helpful because you want to open it up in a new window, and from here, you can pick the plugins that you want for your main folders. In my case, for my generators, I created three folders, Generators, Instruments, and Sampling. So these are the ones that I mostly use. So when I go here, and I go to insert, you can see here I have generators, instruments, and sampling. Now if I want one that's not in there, I can easily just go to more plugins and the rest of the plugins will come up here. Same thing for the effects. Go to effects and I put my main effects, the ones that I use the most in the main folder. And then I created another folder called all. Inside here I have subfolders that are organized the way that I wanted. Some of this shit didn't even make sense, like cool effects, like what kind of shit is that? But it's what I thought are cool effects. From here, I could easily go here and I know what the cool effects are. And I even have some of them that repeat, like in EQ, I have the TDR Nova here, but I also have it in my vocals folder, TDR Nova. You can pretty much set this up however you want. There's no rules for this. It's just for you to have your go-to plugins a lot faster and you can produce a lot faster. For me, it's helped me sound design so much quicker and just really get my ideas out so much quicker. This is really like one of the greatest things I've done in like all of the years that I've been making music. Number two. Fuck, that's not two. Number two, mouse shortcuts and keyboard shortcuts. If you learn the keyboard shortcuts, awesome. If you can get a gaming mouse with buttons that you can set up for shortcuts, even better. These are my shortcuts. These buttons right here on the side, the scroll wheel set up as well for really cool things. I have my side buttons for the pencil and slice because I like to slice and move things around very quickly. I also like to have the stretch in one of my buttons here so I can easily stretch things and then turn it off and shorten them stretch and shorten them and finally i have the mute button and i can easily you know turn it on and off and the mute button is because sometimes when i'm producing i want to try new ideas but i don't want to get rid of my old ideas so i can easily just mute them and but still have them there in case i want to go back to them number three patcher racks patcher is super powerful okay don't be scared of it don't be a little bitch i noticed that i do a lot of the same things and i was like why do i waste my time redoing these all the time when i could just create a patcher rack that has all of these things that i like doing right away for example i created this trap synthifier that you've guys seen on my previous video that has things that i already use a lot so let me turn it off and now let me turn it on so like if i wanted to turn up the tail of the reverb if i want to make it like more metallic if i want to clean it up a little bit with the fletcher munson curb these are all things that i do constantly so for me to have this super accessible and easy has been a game changer with patcher you can do a lot of really cool things i'll give you a little rundown very quickly you can basically add whatever the fuck you want on here so let's say i want to add uh destructor and uh i don't know fucking balance for the volume i don't fucking know this is a yellow line right here just think of it as a wire and this from fl studio obviously is the sound input this is where the sound is coming from. So from this, I wanted to go to Fruity Balance, and from Fruity Balance, I wanted to go to the Destructor, and from the Destructor, I wanted to go to FL Studio again and back into the channel. The reason why this is better than just adding things on the mixer is because the mixer is limited to 10 slots. Obviously, I can I could route this to another channel, and then I'll have another 10 slots, but that's kind of whack. I'd rather keep everything on one channel. Another cool thing about Patcher is that you have the Surface tab, and inside the Surface tab, you can put things like uh, a fucking knob or something. Let me put this big ass knob right here. Pause on that. This knob can control things inside this shit. Uh, I'll show you how. So I'll just turn on activate right here and I'll get this little red dot. Let's say I want to control the volume from this shit. So I'll go here and activate. Shablam. I get a fucking red dot right there. And then I want to control this cutoff right here. So I put activate. Shablam. I have another fucking red dot right there. So now I want to connect my big knob. Pause on these two shits. Now, whenever I move this big knob, shablam. See, you see that shit moves right there. And then same thing with this shit. Shablam. And you can actually do third-party plugins as well. Let's say I want to do a Saturn, right? And I want to connect that big knob to something on Saturn. 
Now, when I click here, I uh, right click, nothing happens, but it's okay. I just go here, then I go to inputs, and then I go to parameters. Holy fuck, all right, it has a shit ton. This thing has a fuck ton of parameters, but that's okay. I just want the drive. Band one drive, blam. All right, there you are. So now we have the little red dot. So same thing, route that shit to the red dot, and then sublam, and then look at that. Right? And you can create really cool things with this. You can automate this onto your shits. Now you're, you have like a really cool way to, to fuck around with sounds and you can make really cool stuff with this. And there's two more racks that I created and you can get these from my website. I created a bass formidifier and in a nutshell, it, it splits the frequencies in two, making the sub frequencies and low frequencies into mono and the high mids. You can even actually make them super stereo with this with knob. I go hard and- That's the clean one. And then with the robo vocal of fire. I go hard in the- I Super simple. Like I said, these are things I do all the time. So if there's things that you do all the time and you're constantly doing them in every project, why don't you just make a patch rack and you'll just have it ready to go. Finally, my last tip is create a template. Some people have some shit against the template. I think it's fucking awesome. Like this is not limiting me at all because I'll change things and I'll change the name of things often. Like I would change bass to like Reese or whatever. I'll run through my template real quick. So basically I have all of these drum sounds going into this drum channel. I have these instruments going into this instrument channel. I have my sub, which is going to my gain stage channel, gain, gain, gain stage channel, as well as the synths are also going to the game stage. The reason why is because sometimes if I want to do it, like I won't do this in every song, but if I want to, I could easily just put a limiter on here and start that gate gain staging, gain staging process. What the fuck? I can't speak today. Yeah, same thing for these vocals going to the sidechain channel, but I could easily just go and put them to the master if I don't want them to be sidechained. Finally, I have a channel that's ready to record my vocals and I have a sidechain carrier with the peak controller. This is if I want to sidechain with the kick and the snare, which are already routed there uh, but I personally like routing with this instead you can actually get this template as well and then fuck around with it and do whatever you want but that's pretty much it for these tips don't forget to leave a like if this shit helped and I'll see you guys on the next shit peace